Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 17th of April. I'm James Spann. We'll be in good shape today. A little rain tomorrow and then a great Easter weekend ahead. Let's go in there and take a look at the water vapor satellite imagery this morning. Pretty good trough coming in here from the west. That's a dynamic system. And often in April, you see something like that. You might uh, fear severe weather, but no. In fact, uh, the rain probably not too heavy for our part of the state tomorrow. No freeze problems this morning. We're starting the day in the 40s. Birmingham at 49. We'll expect a high in the upper 60s today. And around the nation, it's pretty cool, but temperatures are starting to moderate. And by the time we get to Sunday, we'll see a high close to 80 around here. That's a watch warning map this morning. Freeze warnings north and east of Alabama. And a flash flood watch is in effect for the southeastern corner of the state, down around Dothan, Ozark, and Enterprise. It also includes parts of North Florida down toward Tallahassee, Apalachicola, and parts of southwest Georgia around Bainbridge. And uh, while we're not going to see much rain tomorrow, they are going to be soaked down there. In fact, you can see the axis of heavier rain uh, running through North Florida, South Georgia, the coast of South Carolina. There's a very deep system impacts that region, but up here the, the amount's very light, only really barely enough to measure. In fact, parts of North Alabama could miss the rain completely. Take a look at the situation. This is the GFS, the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. This is at 500 millibars. You can see the trough axis west of the state. And down below that, we stay dry today. The sky partly to mostly sunny, the high in the upper 60s. That's still below average, but not as cold as recent days. And then tomorrow, there's the deal. A deep surface low develops in the northeastern Gulf. And you can see that axis of heavier rain uh, down around the southeastern tip of Alabama. It could include uh, Dothan. But up this way, we're just kind of on the northern fringe of all of that. This is the high-res NAM at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. And again, the bigger rains will be south of Interstate 20. Could there be some rain to the north? Yes, but not much. I think Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston gets under a tenth of an inch. And again, to the north, some locations up there could see nothing. But the big rains from Montgomery south and east. And then by 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, everything is out of here. So tomorrow, kind of a cloudy, and it's again a cool day. You know, the high will be in the middle 60s. It looks like we'll have an east flow around the surface low down to the south. So again, cloudy, cool, a little light rain, but no big deal. Saturday, as we start the weekend, deep surface low is off the South Atlantic coast. And uh, looks like a cloudy and kind of cool day for Georgia and the Carolinas. But for us... We'll expect a really nice day, a good supply of sunshine with a high in the middle 70s. Easter Sunday could not be better. Bright, sunny weather. The high should be around 80. A delightful day. Next week on Monday, we stay dry. Uh, highs, again, pushing 80. We have showers off to the west. And then Tuesday, kind of a dying front eases in here with no upper support. Could bring a little light rain, a few showers, but nothing heavy, nothing widespread. And certainly no chance of any severe weather. And then a week from today, a ridge moves in from the west as a big trough forms over the western part of the United States. And down below that, we are going to be warm and dry with low or mid-80s likely. Should be some of the warmest weather so far this year. And that's Thursday. That's a week from today. I never know what day it is. That's pretty bad. A sign you're getting old. This is a week from today. This is Thursday of next week. And again, we're warm and dry. Big storm out there across the high plain states. But that will not be affecting us. And the forecast, May 2nd, that could bring some storms. Really, we see no evidence of any severe weather threat through the rest of April. That might be a storm set up. But hey, this is the land of voodoo. And we all know that that will probably change on the next run. We're just looking for trends. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.